A very good afternoon to all. Thank you for being here today. Welcome to our Tally CA Connect. Our today's topic of discussion, I'm sure, is of prime importance. That is, five common configurations mistakes to avoid while implementing GST in your business accounting, or that is Tally Prime. Our expert for today is CA Punit Mehta. I'm sure Punit sir needs no introduction here as he is a prime speaker at our forum. Punit sir is a Tally evangelist and enthusiast, uh, if I may say. Yes. who has been working with Tally for over 20 years now. He works with various enterprises to have their MIS reports and operations streamlined. He's a co-author to the book Tally for Professionals, published by WIRC of ICI in 2019. He also is a regular speaker at various forums and institutes. We are glad that Punit sir could make out time for today's session at our CA Connect. And a warm welcome to the audience. We have a pretty good number of audience at the very beginning. So a uh, note to the audience so that please uh, direct your questions to Q&A so that we can keep track and make sure that all of them gets answered. And for any comments, please use the chat box. I'll just enable the chat for everyone. Thank you so much. Over to you, Panit, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Komalji. Uh, first and foremost, uh, I'm really thankful for uh, Tally Solutions, especially Arvind, sir, and Komalji to you both for giving me an opportunity for uh, sharing the knowledge, uh, the whatever I have uh, with the audience. So uh, thankful, uh, thankful to you because this is a uh, this is what we are doing it consistently, and for consistently uh, doing it for so many weeks, I am sure it's been over three years. Uh, how much time, uh, uh, Komalji? That uh, uh, every two week? years for us, see connect. Sir. Yeah, almost two years, right? Yes. So almost two years, 104 sessions have already been taken. Uh, some of it, yes, I was part of it. And there are other evangelists uh, from Mumbai who are who were part of it. Pandana, uh, Anand sir, and uh, uh, from North and from East, from all over India. So this is such a wonderful program that uh, you guys have been uh, maintaining and doing it in a most disciplined manner. So first and foremost, congratulations and thank you to you guys uh, for making the CA Connect session uh, on a regular and disciplined basis. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, uh, friends, uh, the, the topic for the day is uh, the five most common errors in GST while we have implemented Tally Prime. Okay, Tally Prime or Tally ERP 9. Uh, uh, so this was uh, the topic and in tally uh, if i may say when uh, rather before tally uh, i would be asking a lot of questions to you is that okay for everyone you can put it in chat yes or no how many of us are comfortable with uh, uh, some kind of questions or some kind of uh, you know interaction and how many of us are com comfortable for uh, 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 that's uh, okay. Take uh, care. Soon, let them. Rachna Jain says yes. Oh my, fifteen. Gaurav Vora, yes. Thank you, Vargi sir, Sunil sir, Tamanna. Hi, Tamanna. So nice to see you. So my questions would be directed to all, and especially Tamanna, who is uh, one of. Uh, uh, a very good trainer that I know. Madhusudan says, yes, yes, Madhusudan ji, I think we have connected earlier as well. Thank you. Thank you. So there are so many yeses that has come. So in the year 2017, GST was implemented by government of India. First July 2017. Nobody can forget that. Yet. And before that, there was a lot of uh, series uh, happening from Tally's side that how GST has to be uh, worked out, what are the nitty gritties of the GST. And just before the GST came in, Tally also came out with the GST working that, okay, this is how users have to come and account for GST. Fine. That was fine. And with the uh, power of Tally, I'm sorry, Arvind Singh, are you not able to listen or are you not able to 
uh, understand uh, my language what is it if you could put it more on the chat that would be nice so with the okay i will be a little slower because this is a pan india uh, forum i cannot speak uh, in hindi and uh, we will be keeping mostly in english but some of you if uh, they are comfortable i will put some of the things in hindi as well but my uh, entire session would be in english only mostly in english okay so uh, coming to the uh, history part basics of gst uh, on the history part that in 2017 that uh, once the gst came in tally also came out with this so while tally came out with this tally has got had got or as i understand two major objective one was enable the users to keep uh, using tally in the same way as they have been using it the second was that to make sure that all the compliance is part of the gst law are adhered to there there was no compromises as far as the compliance was concerned while tally achieved both of them tally uh, came out with the gst software and it achieved both of them it was very simple to use as was in the earlier version but the challenge of adhering to a simple but yet complex law was enormous and for that being enormous there were other certain things which became uh, after that certain things came after effects of that like the gst rate or the ledgers uh, tally said or the users wanted i want one single ledger for cgst sgst and igst tally said okay no problem but the law came out in a way where the users should be putting it separately okay why because the, there are multiple adjustments which keep happening in terms of your outputs and in terms of your inputs i will be discussing some of those uh, mistakes that users keep come, keep doing it or they don't understand what the real solution is so uh, because of keeping it simple tally gave a lot of choices to the users and that choices slightly spoiled the users that ye mera kaam ho gaya na immediate kaam ho gaya so immediate work was happened and that came that became slightly problematic okay so today we will understand what are the five maybe more than that what are the common mistakes that the users are making and how we can resolve them okay so let me start the screen with that questions okay uh before i start and share my presentation it will take about uh, 30 seconds users you all are 125 or 28 users you can just put it in chat what are the common mistakes that you see while you have been using tally erp9 or prime that what you see because these are the things that i have been able to correlate collate from the experience that i have it okay so uh, i will be discussing on that on that yes nice hsn code right hmm so nice Kumal ji, yes sir. I would be requiring the entire chat uh, transcript at the end of the session or maybe after the session, huh? Uh, sir, so actually the chat doesn't get transcribed. Uh, the chat you can't read, you can't download. The question that is why in Q and A the questions and answers are recorded. Yes, no problem. Uh, Well, uh, yeah, yeah. honestly, with the Zoom recording, you'll be able to see the chat. Yeah, after the Zoom recording, there is somewhere the chat recording also. Yes, yes, yes. So you can just uh, download it and give me because these are real. This is the real gold uh, uh, yes. questions yes. that I'm, uh, I'm, you know, learning also. So uh, thank you uh, all of you, right from Pooja to Shamim, Manjunathan, Pravin sir, everyone. Thank you for answering. the first and foremost question incorrect adjustment of rcm yes kalyan sir ah uh, some of this gst is a wide subject some of this i'm taking up right 
एंड आई एम नॉट ओनली टेकिंग अप द मिस्टेक्स अरे मिस्टेक्स बताना इजी बात है इट्स इट्स इजी टू टेल मिस्टेक बट इट्स टफर टू एक्सप्लेन व्हाई दैट मिस्टेक कम्स एंड हाउ वन कैन अवॉइड इट वी विल सी वॉट एवर आई नो देर एंड फ्रेंड्स वॉट एवर आई नो आई विल बी शेयरिंग इट बट आई एम लिटिल कूल क्यूरियस पर्सन आई वुड लाइक टू करेक्ट और make myself learn also i learn from the users that if i have made some wrong uh, or some uh, maybe not so correct uh, interpretation you are free to tell me that punit this is something that we know we understand and this is a better way i am all yours okay thank you so uh, let's start the session ओके फ्रेंड्स आई मोस्ट कॉमन कॉन्फिग्रेशन मिस्टेक्स व्हाट आर दोज एंड हाउ वी कैन अवॉइड इट दैट्स द एंटायर एजेंडा फॉर द डे राइट फॉर दोज ऑफ यू हु वॉन्ट टू नो कि व्हाट पुनीत थिंग्स आर दोज फाइव मोस्ट कॉमन मिस्टेक्स एंड दीज आर नॉट द ओनली वंस and i'm uh, i'll be taking up some of those uh, what you have already uh, discussed it in the chat so i will be taking up those also but mostly these are the ones that i find not updating ledger inventory and voucher type masters not following gst rate hierarchy and this also goes for hsn while most of us have discussed the first few when i said what are the common errors so 1 2 3 4 all of them said hierarchy hierarchy gst uh, sorry hsn code hsn code hsn code so the idea or the common mistake of hsn code comes because the gst rate hierarchy has not been understood so we will discuss what is the rate hierarchy that user has it stat adjustments what are those stat adjustments that also we will be discussing security and save you features not keeping backup of e invoice and eway bill transactions and how to keep those backup of data and eway bill invoice transactions so uh, these are the five most common things so first for the first 45 minutes or 50 minutes i'll be taking up on this and your questions related to this can be asked in the chat immediately during this and the questions which are not related to this can be kept in q and a the moment we will be updating the session or we will be closing the session whatever answers that we know we will be answering it immediately okay <coughs> not updating proper gst information in ledger inventory and voucher type masters voucher type master does not have gst information but there are certain informations that needs to be put okay so while if i see the last uh, 100 calls at the call center or uh, at uh, the uh, at my own place where uh, clients keep calling it i get most of the mistakes related to these things now this could be multiple options you know all of them tend to take up at the same time now uh, first thing is let's take a simple one i'm starting with tally okay let's take a simple one is uh, i create a ledger okay let me see and i write a pin code ab isme bhi error hota hai what can be there i mean you know when i am just writing a pin code users are using users are getting an error in this also why can anybody share why
please put it in the chat yeah state wrongly pin code map to the state not commensurate with to the state state not correct yes that is one thing so even if i put this four now still there is uh, some users still do an error what could be those errors people do it like this okay 411 space 101 theek hai ab space aa gaya tally doesn't understand space okay so tally or rather jab hum e invoice and e bill portal when we go on those portal the data is getting shared this space is not considered so uh, the challenge is uh, 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 the number of character becomes 7 okay so because of this space not uh, being uh, added in this the pin code is not going rightly the first and the foremost mistake okay now coming back to the state uh, again pin code option some people copy it from excel what do they do 400 004 control c control v but the problem what one might not have seen is if you see the cursor space i will just use backspace i have used backspace so the cursor has gone added one more space i mean because of that what one can do instead of copying from here you can copy it from here right so copying and copy and pasting it's a simple small exercise but friends believe me users are wasting time on that and users are wasting time because of certain uh, improper i don't know improper uh, workings so this is what it is somebody mentioned state right so state mein kya mistake kar sakta hai tally has given state for selection but what state mistakes is given one is that yes pin code and the state are not matching but other than that also there are some users who are making mistake you know why you know why in state yes wrong spelling but the selection tally tally is tally is giving you know selection either you are getting it how can one do something wrong in selecting a state spelling mistake kahan pe hai <laughs> again as i said tally is one of the most simplest software as well as uh, 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 user friendly and before uh, yeah either before the users are getting it you know what the most common mistake that i saw was spelling of gujarat <laughs> so some of you my gujarati brothers and sisters uh, this i got this uh, most i mean the users are attempt to write g u j r a t and once you say g u j r a t is not there they go on creating a new state okay and the, from tally if you see the new state is created if you click on enter ha ye new state create ho gaya but what was the right way g u j r a t jo selection karna getting the point friends that you should never create a state you should never create a state if you go on creating your own state tally will not understand what is the logic it has to be used as somebody mentioned very correctly that you are selected maharashtra and you are putting 112 as the pin code and once you are doing an e bill and e invoice transaction everything is related to pin code everything so that mistake enumerates from this state okay so for those users who have found these two challenges state and pin code correct and found that yes we have observed to this error can say yes these are the common things that i have found or may just say uh, good good to know about it i mean something of that sort so that i know that you you have understood this common mistake of creating state and pin code from where does it require so we'll take another one then 
please put your put it in the chat i love interacting somehow i am not able to give speaker to everyone i would have loved to in an open session but uh, good to find this mistake or good to understand this is please put something on that of that in the chat thank you truvet Hmm. What other things? Uh, GST tin number not a big thing. One should understand. Again, in tin number also that space comes. So one has to be very uh, clear about it. Country and state. Country problem was once the data transmi uh, data was transferred from. Uh, ERP nine to uh, Prime, so at that point of time there was a country problem. B b selection of uh, master country, okay, because uh, earlier tally ERP nine did not had this particular field of country, and after Prime or uh, in after GST game this particular field had to be updated. So this was a problem uh, for the old release of seven point two and uh, ERP nine. Okay, so country is again a challenge where one users can understand and uh, update it. Okay, um, right. Pin code I have already mentioned. Right. Hmm. So second, uh, when we look at the masters, there are few other things. I will come on the particular part of masters once again at let, later point of time. Okay, uh, there are a few other things that I uh, wish to share. Is uh, inventory masters, updation of inventory masters. So HSN code, okay, HSN code is something that uh, most of the users felt that the users are not updating it. But from where does Tally takes? One has to understand that from where does Tally takes the HSN code. So I once I go in any of the HSN. Uh, Let me just show you something. Okay. So once I say applicable, okay, set altered GST rates, and I put the HS in. Okay, for some I'm just putting HSN and I'm putting taxability, taxable. Okay, and I'm putting the rate applicable from. The data is starting from one four twenty one, and now I'm putting the revised applicability. I'm just putting seventy. Okay, once I have modified this, I've ac accepted it. Okay. I again go and alter package. And somebody said that my HSN is not one one two; it is two two one. This is my HSN. So again, Tally asks from which date is it applicable? It takes the yesterday's date. I mean. Today is twenty one in my system date. It takes yesterday's date. So this is where the challenge is. Person, people, we do not understand. HSN is not applic uh, related to this applicable, and people have accepted this. Now this creates a problem. To resolve this, what one can do is one can go to this button called Alt W details and see that how many GST rates. Have been kept or HSN rates have been kept. Okay, so in the item master, it is this change in applicable from is what is matters. I would say HSN code is something that you have to start it from one one seven seventeen only. Okay, HSN code does not change except in some exceptional situation where government has issued a specific notification. The GST rates can change from year. the users can change the gst rates 
from whichever date it is applicable. But the simplicity by which Tally has provided the HSN, okay, from here, uh, user enabled the users to modify the HSN is creating a problem for the rates as well as for updating the HSN in the transaction. So I will be taking up the transaction part and the other uh, matter related to HSN at little later. But when I'm asked, when I'm discussing about the masters, this is one critical thing that users have not understood that if I'm changing a rate, or if I'm changing the HSN, what is the correct impact? So if you want that your HSN has to be entirely for the same, say, uh, same for the entire period, you go to this alt W details and provide the HSN details correctly and then give only the difference in the set alter dates, details or uh, rate details. Okay, so that is fine. Uh, users can update it according to that. Okay, so HSN. And then the third option comes is the numbering. Voucher type numbering. Okay, what challenges one user one can get in numbering? Okay, what 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 are the challenges that one can get in numbering? Numbering is a simple exercise. What one can get? Please have tea also along with the lecture <laughs> session. Yeah. Duplication, yes, Monica Jain, manual override. Yeah, that is the option that one can, uh, one should know. What is it? Okay, the challenge is number of characters. Yes, right. So, challenge in voucher type numbering. I can create as many as voucher type. The users are, you know, uh, so attuned to simplicity that they just keep on adding enter. And once you select this automatic, this is one of the most dangerous options that users can do. Okay. So automatic, the problem is if you have created one, two and three, yes, Ketan sir, I'm uh, glad that you know that wrong practice of automatic, keeping it automatic. One should put is either manual if you are okay or the best option is automatic manual override. Okay, I will not discuss because there are multiple other uh, things that we need to discuss. I'm just saying you know, what is the best one? Why, why these challenges or what is it? Okay, so automatic manual override is the best option that one can one should select while updating the masters. Okay, uh, along with that, yes, uh, somebody did said the number of characters and the other part, your numbering should not never start with zero. It should not start with a blank. Okay. And the number of characters should be less than 16 as whenever there is an e invoice implication also uh, ap uh, applicable. So these are the common things that one needs to understand while they are updating on the master's part. Okay. Uh, Sunil sir, voucher number should, uh, should, can have forward slash. It should not have backslash. Okay. It, should, it can have a forward slash. Forward slash is allowed. Okay. Right. E invoice for RCM. I will come on that topic a little later. But this is about voucher numbering. Okay. Not following the GST rate hierarchy. As I had explained to you earlier, the GST rate hierarchy is, uh, one may say it is the base where Tally has made this entire GST return working. Okay, rate hierarchy. Once you understand the rate hierarchy, you will be able to understand the entire gamut of uh, the working. So the challenge people ask here, I have uh, selected an item which is item master mein 28%, but Tally still considers 18%. Okay. So item master, why, why is it that I have selected 28%? One is the GST rate, which is wrongly mentioned as per the date in the item master, that correction, we can do it later. 
but the uh, this is a slightly different problem here the item master says 28% and still tally calculates 18% how many of us have faced this error Pravin Pawan sir says yes. Anyone else? Only one, two. Not much. Simple thing. Yes, yes. Rasna, yes. Zero animal nutrition, yes. Okay. Why that error? We'll come on that. First, see the screen. Tally has got multiple rate setup company level ledger level ledger group level stock item level stock group level and transaction level okay this is the base where tally's gst return has been made if you see that tally allows us to enter the gst rate Okay, at the transaction level, we can select uh, instead of 12%, 18%, whatever wish. Uh, only thing is Tally will give the error and I'll come on that error again uh, at little later that uh, GST rate mismatch is happening. Master says something else and you have selected something else. So at transaction level and if you open the stock group level, stock item level, now these are the different levels at which the GST rates can be kept. One needs to understand that what how does the uh, hierarchy works okay so i have kept a small write-up for this one can just go through that and i'll just give a brief that what are those uh, uh, hierarchy okay because one if one understands what is the gst rate hierarchy the closely related to that is the gst hsn hierarchy okay the same thing is that uh, so the first is the transaction level so whenever the rate is come and you have accepted the transaction tally will give prominence that you have whatever is mentioned in the transaction that will be accepted and not masters okay after transaction tally gives prominence to accounting ledger so the question that i had put it before i started this slide was that the Tally is calculating a different rate. The transaction is calculating the different rate and item master is calculating the different rate. The prime reason could be that my accounting ledger, which has been selected, sales, sales account, accounting ledger, whatever, or the purchase ledger might have give, uh, provided the different rate. So you see the uh, difference that in the ledger level, there is a different rate and in the item master, there's a different rate. So Tally is hard. Architecture has been made in such a way that accounting ledger has to be given preference. Why, what is a different thing. But first understand that this is how Tally's logic behaves. And once we understand that Tally's logic behaves in this manner, we can also correct ourselves. Thereafter, group level, okay. Accounting ledger, if not mentioned in ledger level, I'm not mentioning the sales ledger, but in the sales group, the, uh, I can create, a, uh, that is a group called sales. There also I can keep the GST rate. If I have kept the GST rate in that, it will take according to the accounting group level. Okay. Then it takes the stock ledger level. Okay. So it takes the stock ledger level. If you wish that you have to take only from the stocks, then do not put anything in accounts ledger. The challenge comes that users put it at the ledger level also and the item level also. So if you do not keep anything at the ledger level, that the sales, uh, your uh, supply ledgers level, I'm saying about sales ledger and the purchase ledger, all the supply ledgers, if you do not keep it at that, then you have to keep it at the stock item level. Okay. So based on this, uh, friends, one common question that users ask that if I am selling it outside, it should outside the state, uh, it, it should take 18% and if I'm selling it within the state, it should take CGST and SGST different. It takes, do not worry about it. Tally has got that architecture to understand whenever you have selected an outside 
state uh, ledger first then it will automatically work for the igst 18 percent or whatever that igst rate is okay and after if you have not mentioned anything at stock group uh, level, ledger level stock item level it will take at the stock group level okay and if not at any of this then at the company level so this is the hierarchy okay this is the hierarchy one needs to understand that how tally behaves and if you understand the this hierarchy most of the errors that you have seen in hsn and the gst rate evaporates okay so company level is the last okay friends what is stat adjustment can anybody explain now the third mistake because we are short on time i am not going in each of those uh, architecture and again showing tally that this is what it is this is more of an understanding that how the tally behaves in terms of this thing so not using proper stat adjustment what is stat adjustment anyone kya hai kya hai stat adjustment kya hai see krishna kan sir i will come on this at the end please remind me other territory tally has got something beautiful and which is closely related to masters i will show it to you okay you once you ask and it is related to master so i will show it to you so maharashtra is fine but i find that assessy of other territory whenever we are creating a ledger this is something that we have to select the users are not selecting this and because of that the transaction becomes a problem and the same thing goes for e-commerce operator also once you are selling it uh, through amazon or through uh, flipkart one has to activate this e-commerce operator and uh, uh, if they are from other territory then this this is the prime reason and of course whenever we are the sales ledger also needs to be configured for other territory so sales ledger uh, sales ledger there is no configuration sales uh, taxable is fine but the assessy from here we can put it uh, assessy of other territory we have to keep it as yes okay right coming to our stat adjustment what is a stat adjustment other territory are those uh, specified by the state or by the country where there are uh, the sale is happening at a differential rate okay so uh, igst sales happen even though they are in maharashtra uh, maybe seeds or something special state uh, this thing okay increase reverse charge chest adjustment rcm yes i am looking at the complaint uh, answers okay so to tell you in my understanding what is stat adjustment the stat adjustments are those stat adjustment uh, the uh, those working one second yeah stat adjustments are those working where whenever the users want to inform tally that this is the adjustment that i am making in my statutory return now what are the statutory return maybe gstr1 gstr3 b so those reflection if you want the if you want tally to reflect certain adjustments as i said the law is simple okay gst law is simple one nation one tax but there are many ifs buts and other things 
okay that uh, you have to account for reverse charge you have to account for increase or decrease in taxation liabilities why because you have given the goods on sample you have not made the payment to the vendors there could be multiple things or you have purchased it from a vendor who is a security agency or you have uh, expense uh, uh, done during the year for the lawyer charges or anything okay or you have used the goods for personal uh, your own company goods for your personal effect there, there are multiple reasons why a state adjustment is required okay tally uh, we can create multiple table uh, uh, workings for that but most important thing is how to go go about the state adjustment so i will show you so not using proper state adjustments so now in the current gst environment the government is asking for reversals of the input tax credit for the blocked credit okay in the current gst environment so if you have purchased something uh, which is not eligible as an input suppose hotel expenses okay restaurant expenses you've gone uh, with the team and uh, you have paid a restaurant expense of 10000 uh, rupees plus 500 rupees gst 5% gst or maybe 12% gst 1200 rupees now the government is uh, asking now in the current 3b that you have to reverse show this as a reversal of the gst earlier there was no such requirement so users need not followed the state adjustment what tally had given tally had got this option of reversal right in 14 2017 17 okay so if you see in tally f7 alt j state adjustment state adjustment of gst and increase decrease of input tax credit okay or reversal of input tax credit why so a uh, block credit ineligible credit this now this they are asking specifically in the current 3b environment earlier they never asked tally had provided this option okay so what the users are expected that they should first put the entire option in input igst or cgst sgst whatever uh, basis is and then reverse it through this adjustment class and put it in their expense okay you will have to take debit the expenses and credit the itc ledgers so this is how one can use the stat adjustment part the bifurcations of ineligible credit the bifurcations related to reversal of input credit when the payment is not made okay if you have not made the payment if the sc has not made the payment to uh, uh, the vendor for 180 days they have to reverse the input tax credit how to show show it through the adjustments stat adjustment and stat adjustment and this will be reflected automatically in your gstr 3b for this month so whatever date you have on which the transaction is passed based on this you can select there are uh, once i had taken the count there are about 50 such adjustments okay uh, decrease of tax liability increase of tax liability and multiple things there are 50 such adjustments that are available in tally and uh, uh, one can create an entire table I'll, and then uh, we can share the entire tables list also okay uh, but uh, uh, what is important is that to understand that this is a stat adjustment which is required for gstr 3b especially that uh, okay whatever is the reversals or the reverse charge purchases or anything which is required where there is a a difference in the taxation liability you should use this okay what debit what credit has to be taken uh, uh, it is simple it is not so complex depending if you are reversing uh, if you are removing it from your itc and put taking it to your profit and loss account so you will be debiting the expenses and crediting the itc ledgers in the case in the current environment what i have discussed
okay so similar way for uh, the other it can be taken up yes ketan sir uh, there is this updation is expected very shortly uh, for the new 3b i am sure uh, tally team is looking in this chat as well and uh, we will be coming out tally 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 team should be coming out with a new uh, gstr 3b compliant as well as gstr 1 also there are some amount of small amount of changes uh, very soon very soon but uh, till that time we have one let us understand how that transaction has to be posted and how this is uh, to be worked out okay okay i hope i am clear on uh, the 3b part Uh, in the stat adjustment i will just take you through some of the pointers that i have already made monthly set off entries reversal of itc due to delay in payments these are few of the examples that i am taking up reverse charge transactions we have already discussed okay now i'm just uh, uh, taking a minutes break and i will be asking you to uh, just go through the screen uh, they are self explanatory <coughs> monthly set of entries how many of us are passing be true to it huh? how many of us are passing the monthly set of entries are you passing those monthly adjustment entries output again input against output so whatever is the input whatever is the eligible input that you have you put it either you adjust it either against output and if they are not eligible or they they are not reflecting in your tb you are putting it in some other head you are passing an adjustment entry how many of us are doing it thank you one plus for saying it i am sure uh, tushar bhai and uh, krishna bhai yes you are doing it that's good but there are many many who yet not who yet, who are yet not doing it they are just saying ki, okay one and three b mein dikh raha hai na kya kare okay so i'll take you through the small example on this so gst portal has got three ledgers credit ledgers and liability ledgers all gst payments are shown in cash ledgers this is my way of uh, doing the accounting one one may have another way of uh, working also create input ledgers separately i do not uh, wish to create uh, uh, you know uh, common input and output ledgers i create separate input sgst cgst and also i do not recommend creating tax rate wise ledger although uh, we may require it uh, in gstr 9 uh, working but i am not that keen on uh, asking users to put it just to burden but at least input and output can be separate okay all the groups can be under the main group duties and taxes i have the use the words can be because now in tally prime you can put the ledgers you can put this input ledgers not only under duties and taxes but also under current assets would you like to know how then i will show it otherwise it's not that important if you wish to know that if i want to create gst ledgers on under any other group maybe current assets or on any any other group then uh, please inform me in the chat please show us how otherwise i will just uh, skip this uh, normally people are putting it under duties and taxes and that gst rate is coming up okay so if you want to know just let me know in the chat how you can create ledgers of itc under current assets okay the uh, because some, some of the chartered accountants or accountants suggest that i input credit is my own credit i why should i show it as a liability it shows on the debit side of liability okay so uh, it is better to show it under current assets earlier it was not uh, permissible but now it is permissible in tally prime you can do it if you wish to know please put it on the message as how Oh uh, yes, there are a lot many hows. Okay, ah, Amit says yes. Satyanarayan, yes. Okay, 
So then I'll have to show. Create ledgers. Input CGST asset. Suppose I've just created, there is one ledger already called input CGST. That's why I'm just giving another name, input CGST under current assets. Okay. So here the statutory part did not come. The GST. So in F12, I have to activate one option. What is that option? Let me show. Set ledgers to behave as duties and taxes. Okay. Once I keep this as yes. Behave as duties and taxes, and then I can create. Got it? I will once again repeat F12 set ledgers to behave as duties and taxes. Okay, this is the option. If you do not know this option, then you will not uh, you will not be able to create under this. So once you have selected GST and then uh, input CGST that is fine the rest of the other things are same okay so this is one very critical option which many of us are missing okay coming back to our example that monthly adjustments has to be made so uh, breakup of CGST SGST some example I have taken up so second uh, entry number two has come actually this is the for the first entry should be this select adjustment class decrease of tax liability then then select the output ledger accounts okay to input ledger accounts okay this is just an example that i have already created and i'm showing it to you okay to central taxes the final which is a cash ledger and then this is the first entry and the second entry after this is a payment entry. Okay. So this is how one can get into it. Right. Import of services. Again, uh, this entire sequence that I have provided, how to claim input credit, what is it, the state adjustment, increase of input tax credit, import of services. The similar can be for reverse charge, similar can, similar examples could be for some other, you know, uh, delayed payment and other things. So I've just taken one or two examples, but the cracks remains the same that you have to create state adjustment and you have to pass it through state adjustment entries. Okay. Security. What is security got to do with GST configuration? <laughs> Any guesses? I'll come on save view part. But what is security got to do with the save view option? Any guesses? Anyone? No, don't do it or else it will be mess. Uh, can we download this PPT? I will come to that answer, Sunil sir, at the end. Okay. No one can amend anything. Yes, GST law is something that uh, we need to understand uh, for modification, alteration of vouchers. But this is something uh, hardcore to GST, not to the accounting part. What you have said is yes, uh, Sunil, Sumer said that amendment should not be possible. Uh, the, the users or the account, other accountant amends the transaction. My whole entire GST working goes for a toss. Yes, that is one reason. But other than that, there is very important configuration. GST configuration, which many user misses, and that's why they are unable to file the return. Okay. Four participants have already raised hands. Uh, we may allow at the end to speak. Friends, uh, right now, chat is chat and question answers is the only option. Please use that. 
right now i cannot allow uh, participants to talk in between but definitely i am looking at chats okay let me take you to the security part immediately override tax details simple question allowed to override tax detail yes or no okay what should be the configurations depend i am not saying that always keep it at yes but friends i am also not in favor of keeping it at no every time i'll tell you why okay what is this tax details now i discussed that tally has got its own hierarchy that first it takes transaction then it takes uh, uh, ledger level then it takes stock item level and there are chances you would agree that there are chances that there are mismatches the master might say something else and the transaction might have got some other rate okay possible very much possible that the master says uh, the accounting master says 18% but in while uh, Uh, providing for the uh, tax details you have selected 12% there could be possible tally does not know whether you are passing it correctly or incorrectly the software does not know what to do okay so for that the challenge is whether so tally once it uh, once you are accepting the transaction it asks for three options and i'm sure uh, you must have uh, got these three options one is accept the change second is override or third is let it be as such i will come back to the alteration of the transaction do not change it how many of us have got that accept override okay and then do not change it has somebody got it override yes why and how that option comes okay so once you have activated tally security and if you have allowed to allow to override tax details the mismatches then what it will it will not show in the mismatch see whenever there is a mismatch you can either resolve it at that point of time or you can resolve it at later or you can say ki what i have uh, uh, passing is correct okay so if you wish the accountant who is entering the transaction is a smart accountant he knows that whatever he is doing is correct then he can be activated with this option called allow to override tax details because by this allow to override tax details users will be able to accept the transaction and pass the e invoice okay the e invoice and the e bill transaction will get through otherwise if you say that i will resolve it later it will always remain in mismatch and once it remains in mismatch your transaction does not go for e invoice you understanding my point that you have to un, uh, i'll give room to the users if the users are smart enough they understand that even if 18% rate is there in the masters but for this transaction 12% rate is correct let me accept it yes go ahead okay so that is one important configuration that people do not understand and security is something that uh, not many uh, uh, i mean people understand it but they have left it to the admin or the it person to enable it now if they have left it to the admin person the challenge is they do not understand the intricacies of the gst and by this they might create some amount of problem my suggestion or solution is please understand this if you want your data entry operator to override then once you keep it as yes it will allow to override okay so friends this is a very important option if you have not understood please let me know we can take up a live example and do it it might take two or three minutes more but if you have understood it then please raise a thumb or say okay fine that's great yes understood thank you ketan bhai others not understood or understood please say please do one data entry rahul says Uh, rahul yes i can 
Saurabh Shah says live example. Okay. Please do entry. One plus also say one example. Okay. Give example. Okay. Chalo, give, we will give example. I will first create a data entry level. data entry and I'm just creating a user called D. Okay. Password D. And in data entry, we have already kept the user as he cannot change the configuration. Alt K. Change user. Change username D. So D. Now, this is the user D who is entering the transaction, not the admin person. Okay. I've just created the user and I'm now passing one GST transaction. Okay. I will pass one sales transaction. Sales GST. Now, here I am being asked a question. Sales taxable, and I am saying that this is a twelve percent rate. Okay, twelve percent instead of eighteen percent. I am passing a twelve percent. For some reason, I am passing this transaction as twelve percent. You getting me? And then I am selecting the item. Output CGST. So based on 12%, uh, it has come 66% output SGST. The tax details are modified. What does this asking point? If you want to accept it with conflict and resolve later or go back to voucher. These are the two options that has asked. Okay. It has not asked the third option. Ketan Bhai, just look at it. Override option is not asked at all. Okay. So what will happen? Accept the conflict. I am either resolving the conflict. I will say yes, or I will say, okay, okay I will resolve it at later point of time. So once I resolve it at later point of time, so I go to the GST report, it will show in mismatch errors. Uncertain transaction, all the transactions which are uncertain is here. Okay. And what it says nature of transaction taxable value or tax rate modified in the voucher. Okay. This was, this is not correct. And it is asking us to put the correct one, but the user themselves, the person, the data entry operator right now, D who's entering is not capable. So for this, he will not be able to accept this transaction. Okay. Now what will happen that the admin user either will have to go to this transaction and make the correction. Alt K change user, change username,
Hmm. Now it is the user, a, a user, admin user has entered the transaction. The same transaction when he accepts. He says, yes, 12% is fine. For some reason, this is 12%. Okay. See, now it is asking another set of questions. What is that? Override, accept with conflicts, resolve later. Oh, I've just accepted it. accept without conflicts that is override okay here one can select o so this is the admin user who has been by default allowed to enter it okay but in in case you want this function to be used by the known accountants then what you will have to do is you will have to go to this alt k user roles data entry and then Allow to overwrite text details. Yes. And then accept it. Control A. Control A. Control A. Alt F3. Alt K. Change user username D. Now this is the data entry operator. I will pass the same transaction once again. See, now it is asking earlier in data entry operator, it was asking only for two questions. Now it is asking for the third one. So if you know the data entry operator is smart, then you can give this option as activated. If you do not know, then this is the problem. Then see, consequent to this, your e-invoice, your e bill does not get uploaded. So users are facing these problems again and again. Why am I, why for some user, the e-invoice is not getting uploaded? For some reason, I'm, I'm not saying that this is a right configuration or this is a wrong configuration. I'm just saying that this is an option which Tally has provided. If the users are smart, please allow them to override the transaction so their transaction goes smoothly. So here, if you accept it, override O, I've accepted it. And now I go to my GSTR1. certain transactions but it is not for that it is for some other hsn or something okay gstn is not specified that is another error okay the gst number would have specified but it has not come for that taxable rate it has not come okay so this is how one can minimize the errors or to ensure that the professional workings are there okay Right. Anyone? Sir, I hope this is understood completely. If something is left out, do let me know. We can skip to another, we can next uh, move to the next part security. Okay. Now, 
one more important aspect that i see many users are not using the save view feature friends believe me in the gstr 9 working what has come is very clearly that okay what has come very clearly is that tally save view report is accessible like for many of the auditors and chartered accountants this has been found to be very very useful how many of you are using the save view report i'll show you one or two save view reports and there are multiple others but not using save view is something actually many uh, users are making it okay how many of us are using the save view report using not using tell me i'll explain you more on that and i'll also show you one example of save view that i have created for myself by the time i create an example not using not using rahul how to save view krishna surjit roy okay every month we have to pass this gst adjustment entry and many of you said yes they are passing the gst adjustment entry but how to get those gst adjustment figure in one click i'll show you what i am doing it alt g first the result then the gst payable table this is a very simple table that i have made gst payable table okay see what it shows gst payable amount okay input cgst sgst input igst output liability okay so for these months i have passed the adjustment almost for this month i have not passed the adjustment this is i got it at one click this is simple gst report i am comparing my monthly april may june july and for each of those ledgers gst payable input output or whatever it is okay this is a very uh, handy table to me why because i am able to look at it i export this gst table report into excel and then pass the gst adjustment entry by looking at it frankly i do use to be uh, comparison uh, or working uh, sorry to a comparison i compare the transactions not to be to a uh, comparisons i do uh, uh, whatever transactions that have not reflected in uh, uh, accounts and that after that before i file my 3b i go to this table i check is there any adjustments that are there and i pass the adjustment output uh, the total input ledgers for each of the month has to get zero and it has to get adjusted either either at uh, output or to maybe transfer it uh, liability to uh, asset to be claimed later maybe if i am not got the credit credit so this is how i do it how many of you would like to know how to get this table on one click how to get this table is also important and how to get it in one click wow yes i will show definitely hi ah, hi jitesh yes hi bharti thank you yeah meena ji i'll explain yes okay what i do d o sorry display display account books i'll have to change the user alt k admin user i'll have to come again okay i go to display trial balance current liabilities duties and taxes duties and taxes gst 
I go to any of the ledgers input CGST. Okay, this is the per month ledger that I have got it month monthly. In tally, there is a beautiful option of adding a column by using the word called Alt C, Alt plus C. I say Alt plus C. And I add a column of input SGST. Okay, so now there are two columns output, uh, input CGST, input SGST. And then I keep on adding the column Alt C. Output SGST. Three columns have been added. I add again a column. Put CGST. This is CGST input output. Okay. And uh, by click, uh, uh, there is one more column GST payable. And consequently, input IGST and input output uh, IGST. Okay, these two ledgers also I can add it up. Okay, tally follows a clear hierarchy. You have to create uh, first uh, GST payable and then maybe input output and the, the other ledgers that you can decide. In F12, I do two options show net transaction as yes and closing balance as no. That's it. Okay. Now I have formatted this report as what I like it. Input, input, output, output, and GST payable account. These are the five ledgers that now I have formatted it. Finally, I use the word save view on the right hand side. Now this is available only after GS uh, Tally Prime release 2.0. Okay. So you can use this button called save view and you can give a name of this report gst uh, ca connect report now i am just giving deliberately giving any other name you can give whatever uh, you would like to give okay set this as default no all companies on this computer okay and then save it. That's it. Friends, this is what we have to do. Whenever you are there at gateway of tally, alt G and you select CA connect report. GST CA connect report. That's it. Isn't it interesting to get this report? Save view and using save view. Save view is the final option to get to this. But the users who are not using save view are sp uh, spending so much amount of time. Okay, to get this monthly adjustment figures only. And believe me, this save view is uh, available across different aspects of tally, almost all aspects of tally. So once you have created the save view, it is option available in your go to report. Now you have created your own menu for creating this. Right? So that's the beauty of tally is that this save you is extreme, extreme useful. I mean, I've seen people, the uh, consultant making one or two or three different kinds of report, saving it and then asking the uh, article clerk or employee to get all the reports in all the company's report in this for all the clients, whatever it is. Because once you have created a save view, it is applicable for not only this company, but for any company which is opened in this computer, in fact, in this network. Okay, so this, this is an option which is available to all of you. So once you have created for one company, you can create it for multiple companies. Okay, that's the beauty of it. You need not again. Now this is Mtech Business Solutions Private Limited Company. You could have got for another company or third company, whatever it is. Okay, so you uh, save you bar bar nahi kar rahe. one do, need not do the save you again and again okay not using save you is really a crime 
of your time tally does not get impacted it is your time which gets impacted okay so my suggestion is please go ahead and use save view how many of you liked it okay or not so okay feature or very bad feature please put it in the chat beautiful feature what tally is now uh, showcasing it as a logo of this thing or it is not good yaar yeah, it is bad so if you say it is good i will show you one more uh, report that i loved looking at it it is not related to gst but it is related really related to business if you like it then please put it in the chat yes i love it or like it whatever or you can show your appreciation through maybe emojis whatever is available <laughs> umesh p jain yes uh, umesh bhai chat is the only option that i have it please uh, use it so uh, if the content is over i think we can allow people to you know uh, uh, no i have two thing. more things uh, uh, komal i'll just finish oh. it as soon as possible thank you for reminding okay yeah. yeah then i think we'll have to have a time check now uh, yeah. okay sir i think let's uh, finish with that yeah, yeah. uh can we have access to recording of this meeting address yes uh, we will have it right uh, yes yes uh, the recording will be available it will be edited and uploaded uh, in our uh, ca community portal as well yeah, as yeah yeah mr mohammed you can create any of the reports once you have created in tally then you can save it uh, right okay fine i will show one more report which i really love and we will alt g contribution report now uh, this is a simple contribution report that i get it what i get it sales minus purchases and indirect expenses friends this is a beautiful report there are many such reports which are there but this is this shows that where my where the accounts are moving or whatever it is okay sales minus purchases and the indirect expenses so per month revenue or per month working comes up okay so contribution report again instead of ledger first the in the earlier part i went to the ledger i did monthly the same thing you could have gone for group also so group do monthly and then add a column add two more or one or two more columns and then say uh, do a net balance report and then Uh, work it okay so this is how a contribution report is maybe uh, uh, on that a little later today i have uh, one or two more things to discuss not using it uh, save view gst adjustments okay the last part not keeping backup of data of e invoice and ev bill transactions friends this is a very bad configurations that users have it okay uh, i would recommend two things for resolution do ensure your backups are there in an automated mode use google drive sync it doesn't take much time go to google drive sync your tally folder and ensure your data sync is there in your google drive sync it doesn't take much time okay and or this is for the data and for transactions what one could do is that whenever an e invoice or ev bill is happening you can just export it in pdf okay whenever you want you, know, you can select this f6 file format file format and then send it uh here it will asking for override because the problem is that we will have to go and change the file name you can give the file name as invoice number or something of that sort and then save it please do it for e invoice and ev bill transaction because whenever you change in tally tally shows iron number uh, register is there it shows the 
uh, uh, changes that has happened, the transaction which has changes, but it does not give me somehow what was the exact amount or what was the exact ledgers which were selected earlier. Okay, so that is the problem that might have one might face. Uh, I'll tell what I do. I have activated uh, one particular aspect in customization. Okay, is that the moment I save a transaction, I save a transaction, you can see a small screen. So, Mr. Gaitan, you is asking to repeat the same thing. Okay, I'll repeat. So, uh, what you users can do is to export the transaction in PDF. Whenever the options are there, F8 file format, and then select the file which you want to uh, select. Okay. You give the file name. And you can export it. That is one option. The another option that is there, which I have got it through customization, is I can just yes. So there, the, there is an automated export which has happened. Where it has happened, I will show you. Yep. Whatever vouchers that I have saved today. Here it is. Okay. So this is an option. So this is an automated option which I saved. This has been possible uh, because of customization. I am using a customization where saving a file does not take much time. The immediately after the saving, it is exported in PDF. Okay. It is taking up the file name along with the company name. So these are the transactions which I have saved it today. Okay. It is taking the invoice number and the file name. This is possible through customization, okay, uh, which I have used it, which I'm using it. The reason is that I'm keeping a backup of the transaction, the hardcore backup of the transaction along with the tally data backup. Of course, I'm using uh, automated backup for ensuring that my backup uh, data is there on the cloud also. Okay, so that is one uh, thing that it is there. So this I wanted to share. Okay, now let's, uh, uh, I think, uh, Komalji, I have done with the things. Now we can go to few of the question and answers. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so meanwhile, uh, I think Q and A Sanjay is also uh, you know help with the thing. Uh, yeah. So uh, Q and A we do not have any. I think chat you have mostly covered during the uh, thing. So I just request to the audience if you still have your questions unanswered, please uh, you know put in your questions in Q and A. And also, uh, like Komalji has raised his hand, I will allow him to talk now. So same way, if you want to have your, uh, you know, have your questions answered directly by Puneet sir, please raise your hands. I will unmute you, and you know, you can have a direct conversation. Yes. Umeshji, you're unmuted. If you can, you know, ask a question, or do you have a question? Okay, Krishna Kant Agarwal ji has written. Please show again other territory transaction. Okay, other territory transaction. I can show you. Uh, one second. So whenever we are creating a ledger, here in GST update, set alter GST details, here we need to select a CC of other territory. That's it. That is the only one configuration which is required. And then, so these are the uh, maybe uh, transactions which are related to SEZ, transactions which are related to uh, Section 8 something uh, transactions are there. So there are not much configuration which is required in the party master. You have you have to activate this as other title. That's it. That's no other configuration which is required. Okay. And then you can accept the transaction whenever there is a sales for other title. I hope I'm clear, uh, Krishna Kanji. Oh, uh, okay. so one uh, one more announcement. I think we have a good number of crowd here. Uh, so uh, we just got this, uh, you know, notice from the company that uh, so Tally Prime has come up with a tool that will help you know seamlessly migrate the data from QuickBooks to Tally Prime. You all and it will be free of cost. 
so wow. you know if you know of any quickbook user who has who has been struggling with the data migration or is still looking for a you know decision please do suggest them and you know they can make an informed decision on the same i think the yes. tool is going to live uh, go live today or day after okay uh, with uh, kumari ji that's i have unmuted you that uh, you have done tally company has done uh quickbooks is one of the use, uh, very well known software it was uh, uh, and uh, the migration is uh, uh, if you have enabled the migration or directly for the users it's quite good thank you right okay for courier company same party for is used for sgst yes uh, and other directory yes krishnan ji this configuration should help you what i have shown you is that con configuration shall help you okay uh vipul vitlani ji i think you have a question you can ask uh, mr lesh mohammed ji if you have a question please do ask directly yeah umesh bhai has also raised his hand if you can enable uh, actually umesh ji i have unmuted i think uh, he is not uh, uh, no, no 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 question okay, okay thank you hello hello yeah good evening sir yeah ish mohammed सर मैंने ये पूछना था कि जैसे हम किको पहले यूज करते थे और टैली में डाटा कैसे माइग्रेट करना है सभी मेरे पास बहुत सारी कंपनी का डाटा अभी किको में है वाह इसके लिए इन्होंने कोमल जी ने अभी बताया कि टैली ने इसके लिए आज ही आज या कल में टैली के वेबसाइट पे एक टूल मिलेगा आप उस टूल को एनेबल करके आप यू कैन डेट माइग्रेट द क्विक बुक्स डेटा इन टैली ये हो जाएगा अब ये चीज अभी शॉर्टली आ जाएगा ओके राइट सर आई वाज हैविंग अ क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग क्रेडिट नोट इन टैली क्या है बोलिए ना सो अभी जैसे आई व्हाट आई अंडरस्टूड इज कि टैली में कोई भी एंट्री है वो फॉल होती है जीएसटी आर 1 और 3 बी में बेस्ड ऑन द ग्रुप ऑफ द लेजर वी आर यूजिंग इन द एंट्री राइट Mm -hmm. so let's say i am giving a credit note to my customer for a rate difference mm -hmm. uh so as such that would be a, a expense ledger for me let's say i am uh, putting rate difference account debit to party yes that rate difference account is kept as direct expense mm -hmm. now this being a credit note in gstr1 i need to upload this credit note and reverse or uh, reverse my tax liability Up to the credit note amount issued to the customer. Yes, but the problem is when I keep keep it direct expense, that credit note shows in GSTR three B instead of GSTR one. So whenever I generate GSTR one report from my tally, it will not show those entries which are there in the credit note uh, red difference. Yeah, uh, this the, this we have put it with tally team. I think Sanjay uh, would be able to answer. Or what I have uh, requested my customer is to put the rate difference uh, account under sales because this is actually your expense on one way is right but you are reducing your sales also so earlier you have kept 100 rupees as sales and now that sales is to be reflected as 90 rupees okay yes. so i recommend is that rate difference sales account is what is there it is not your pure say per se expense okay so that is what my recommendation is and once you put it under uh, sales uh, the, these problems will not be gstr1 yes but as of now what we are following is we are keeping it as a direct income and then passing a jv at the 31st march ending from put it under expense but my frankly uh, see the the rate difference is the turnover difference so what turnover you are showing has actually got reduced it is not your new expense that yes. you have given something okay Instead of hundred rupees sell, you now you are telling to all for your financial statements is your ninety rupees is a sale. So ideally, it should come under sales only from an accounting perspective. That I am discussing. I am not uh, saying right or wrong, and that's what uh, the behavior should be. That the financials should show whatever the sales are. Okay. Right. Yes, sir. Thank you. Pleasure. Unmute, yeah, you know, unmute yourself and say. Yeah. So, <clears throat> Kumar, I have a small request to you. Uh, yes, the sir. gentleman Mohammad, the uh, chartered accountant, who has some uh, requirements to convert QuickBooks data to tally, please take yes. his contact details so that we can help him. Yeah, yeah, for sure, sir. Yes, we oh, take his contact number, other things. 
and we'll take it back forward hmm? sure sir we'll do okay ma thank you thanks mohan ji you can ask your question no yeah mr mohan mr mohammed uh, mohan mohan ji yeah sir ab gs3 bhi json upload karte hain na उटेड should not be a problem because the current uh, requirement which has come up just a month or a month and a half back has not got updated in tally which is expected they are uh, what i understand from the tally team uh, coming out with a new release for gstr1 as well as for 3b so in that i think this uh, problem should get resolved okay sir yeah and so regarding the reverse ineligible credit yes uh so uh, currently we have two options in uh, new tb right ineligible under 175 like reclaim and ineligible yes there are two options whenever in tally we have only one option like uh, market as ineligible but whenever we market as ineligible and directly import it uh, in the software it directly goes to reclaim instead of the ineligible credit yeah so that is the precise reason was uh, uh, ineligible when you mark it as ineligible it shows in ineligible credit it does not allow you to take ig input credit on that but the uh, fact remains that accounting impact has not happened the statutory impact has not happened okay so for that it is uh, tally in the year 2017 only came out with this stat adjustment class okay now government is asking that you please show it bifurcatedly but it was earlier only provided in the statute that you need to give separate bifurcation and because of that tally had brought this stat adjustment class so we would suggest that you please uh, put it under itc and then again uh, pass this stat adjustment and uh, uh, show it as ineligible credit so you are saying if directly let's have marked then uh, expense ledger and uh, in gst configured is uh, ineligible credit for that expense ledger yeah. particularly yes so whenever i pass an expense entry in that ledger uh, and uh, that credit in that particular entry shows in d table d1 of the 3b which is itc reclaimed which was reversed earlier in 4b2 but actually that is not the case i i am marking that itc as ineligible in d2 table 4d2 okay that option is not available in tally as of now i guess all yes. the entry is passed in ineligible itc are getting reflected in 4d1 okay uh let me check on that mr vithal uh, sorry vipul ji and uh, i'll surely come back to you uh, i'll i have shared my connect details uh, for those of you who wish to uh, send me a hi or uh, share their uh, thought process on today's session on my linkedin working uh, please connect with me and uh, uh, maybe if you can uh, if you wish i uh, you can just put me a hi on my mobile number i will uh, send uh, and give uh, the request for today's presentation i will send that presentation to those of you and uh, on this point also mr vipul definitely i will uh, check and come back to you uh, hello some of the points that uh, for the hello. new release as i discussed earlier tally team has already informed that they are working on that in fact they have uh, uh, worked on the entire part but since release 3.0 is so huge uh, it is coming out with a multi gst and it is coming out with uh, gstr 2a reconciliation and multiple multiple things okay and uh, uh, that being so much uh, heavily loaded they uh, think that there is a huge amount of training that could be required for the users for the partners and for the entire network and that's why that uh, taking small amount of time more for ensuring that things are up and running in a very smooth manner so maybe uh, very shortly we should be getting this uh, gstr 3b the correct json file and the gstr 1 the latest json file very shortly we should be getting it. so i think we do not have any further questions with the raised hands uh, mr hari narayan dhuriya 
do anyone have further question umesh ji you have raised your hand you can ask uh, your question no, exactly here. regarding this only sir had said me multi branch uh, we want to have because we have different uh, gst number different states so how to go about when we could get the release i just had that question yes so yes, yes. Uh, when we can the 3.0 release Yes. Uh, when, when uh, so, three point two release. Actually, we do not have a definite date, but it is expected in by January end for sure. Oh. So, as we know, we will please keep stay tuned at us. See a connect. You know, as in as in when we are going to have a definite date, we will definitely make an announcement. Yes, but as of now, it is expected in the month of January. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Because uh, that will have to again. <laughs> If you want to go for separate customization, or how we just wanted to plan? Uh, I would really like, uh, you know, uh, one that you would keep uh, wait for just another month. Your all your problems will be sorted. And for currently, you know, you can reach out to our support team. I think, uh, okay. Any uh, current problem which you are facing and you might need support at, I think it would be very helpful. And okay. I can reach out to you and you know uh, give my support team your contact number. I have your thing. details. Yeah, okay. thank you, ma'am. Okay, so we do not have any further question. The one in the Q and A, we have answered that, right, sir? How uh, to create service invoice? Invoice without creating. It's, it's very simple, Mr. Shamim. Uh, Mr. Shamim is there? Yes, uh, no. Please uh, put it in the chat. I will explain it to you. He, he is there. He is there? Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. So. It's not uh, service uh, industry is again a very uh, critical invoice. So when you are raising a sales invoice, just go to this change mode, Control H. Okay, uh, Control H. You will get an option of uh, as voucher, as accounting invoice. Change mode as accounting invoice. That's it. And you select uh, whatever service uh, name that you uh, wish to have. Professional fees. So you can have this description for the year 2022-23 and so on and so forth. Select the GST letter. That's it. Uh, there are no other changes that are required to be done. Uh, we can have a standard description for this. Uh, we don't need to type it again and again. Would anybody like to see how to get this standard description? Uh, I've typed this standard description, but this is something that you can have it, save it uh, in the ledger itself, and then it should be available whenever you are selecting professional fees. Oh, so many yeses. Oh, oh. Everybody wants to. Yeah. <laughs> one second, one second. Uh, for those uh, yeses, I would recommend that I would be putting a, sh a short link or a short uh, screenshot of today's presentation on my LinkedIn. So please get connected with me also. <laughs> okay. Here, if you put in F12, provide description for ledgers. Okay. So here in description, in professional fees. Uh, this is an expense. Uh, please don't go with the accounting part. Professional fees being professional fees charged. This has come automatically. I have saved a minute of mine, and consequently, to all those who have we have been listening to this so the best thing that one can do is to learn uh, these kinds of tips and tricks and shortcuts and not only learn but to explain it to maybe different uh, uh, users accountants that are you not using this are you not using this okay this will save your time my time everybody's time and while we can we are saving time we are not only doing a service for ourselves but to our nation. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, I think we do not have any further question. And uh, Vandana Gaudiya says, "Explore the unexplored." Yeah, thank you, Vandana, for being present. Uh, Vandana, you should be. Vandana, ma'am, too. Vandana, yeah. uh, please allow her to be there on the camera. 
Uh, so, a, a note to the audience, actually, it's very overwhelming that, you know, we are almost done with our session, three minutes, and we still have 90 people with us. So, uh, thank you so much. I think, Punitza, you were a big hit. <laughs> you always are. Yeah. Thank you so much for a yeah. very engaging session. I think it, the chat box just exploded today. <laughs> So I and uh, with the, so many requests for the videos, I'll make sure that it get it uh, gets edited today itself and will upload it tomorrow. So please do log in at community.arisolutions.com. You can see all the CA Connect videos and stay tuned for any later, you know, CA Connects, which we do weekly or fortnightly. Thank yeah. you so much. I will now end the meeting. Uh, just one request, uh, friends. Uh, I am sure you have learned uh, uh, something or the other. Uh, you will definitely go practice and explore uh, by seeing the video. Please do not forget to share this uh, session and the upcoming session on the CA Connect series with your friends. Okay, this is a completely free out of uh, uh, completely free service that Tally Company is doing. We have uh, uh, capacity of one thousand people. We were only one fifty of us today. We want this CA Connect to get exploded. We want Tally team to go ahead and take a 10,000 person session for all, for this CA Connect. This is uh, something that we as an evangelist, I, Vandana, Anand and other evangelists have taken that more than 10,000 people should be coming on this platform for every week. Uh, you will definitely learn and you will also uh, help others to learn more. So my request is please go and ask few at least five of your connects to come on this ca connect channel i thank hope you, you are you all are going to do thank you very much i think this is the really the bigger objective that people are here to learn at free of cost and everything and we come up with a different topic and the topic which is you know re more relevant to everyone so thank you so much puneet ji a big please accept a heartfelt thanks for a very pleasure. engaging session and um, very interesting one thank you so much pleasure Thank you.